yeah, yeah. What up, King Hill? What's up, man? How you doing, my dog? Man, I'm good, man. Oh, man, we've been doing honeydews and, and house chores lately. Yeah, man. <laughs> Man, it feels good to get back in front of the mic. You know how we do, man. We've been real busy around here, man. Yeah. Um, how y'all doing out there? This your OG Big Heen. And this King Hill. And you are now tuned in to the OG's Perspective Podcast. <laughs> hey, how you doing, King Hill, man? What's going on, dog? What's up, man? Not much. Man, you already know, man. We back in the booth, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Br- bringing you know. the people some information. Yeah, man. You know, like you said, doing uh, house chores and honeydews and all that. Yeah, yeah. I just, uh, I just had to put a new vanity in there and put a new sink in. So you know, I, I get my hands dirty, man. Yeah, that's what I did. I have put a vanity in and I uh, did my, my bathroom floor. You the reason why I had to do mine. <laughs> <laughs> you the reason why I had to do mine. I, I bought it. It was sitting there. I took it out the box. It was sitting there. Then you going to come tell me, yeah, man, I just uh, did the bathroom and my floors, and then my <laughs> wife went crazy. So you you caused the chain reaction. I got a couple more things I got to do. But uh, other than that, man, you know, man, let's jump right into this thing, man. Let's get busy yeah, with it. Uh, so before we get into the, the actual podcast, man, okay, I want to okay. um, send condolences out to uh, uh, Jason Arnold. He a uh, Buffalo firefighter who... Um, Passed away in a uh, line of duty, uh, yeah. what, two days ago? Two days ago, that big fire downtown. Downtown Buffalo, Buffalo. Buffalo yeah. Downtown so, Buffalo, uh, New York. Um, condolences to the family. Uh, prayers go out to them. Uh, his uh, co-workers, other, uh, p- people working in the fire department and stuff like that. So, yeah, man, that was a pretty bad fire. It was yeah, a, uh, four I got a, alarm. I got a, I got a f- lot of friends that work in for the Buffalo Fire Department and uh, – I know they're taking it hard right now, and, you know, it's just a tragic situation. You know, they sign up for that, man. I, I always said I, I could never be a firefighter because for me to, you know, unless it's my family, you know, my, my, my wife, my kids, you know, grandkids, I don't know if I could run in a burning building and rescue people. Right. So I take my take my hat off to those guys, and my heart goes out to the young man and his family. Yeah, man. Uh, and he was uh, – he was – Recently married, and he got a oh my uh, God. three-year-old daughter, I believe. Oh, my God. That's, yeah, three-year-old daughter. So, that's, man, that's prayers tragic, to man. them, man. Prayers to his whole family. Yeah. And um, another person I want to send a shout-out to is Cornell Davis. Um, who was that? Uh, he's a black um, – a black uh, – Military? Vietnam. Okay. Vietnam, Vietnam veteran. War vet. Okay, okay. Uh, so he uh, just recently received his Medal of Honor. Because uh, so you know back then, uh, coming back from the Vietnam War. They so, didn't acknowledge our yeah, black soldiers. They didn't, they didn't acknowledge black soldiers. So I just wanted to take the time out to uh, congratulate him, man. Thank him for his service and all that. It's, it's, it's crazy in the, in, the, in the matter of a tragic or in the same token of a tragic incident, you got something good to celebrate. Yeah. It's, it's crazy, man. One person died, and another person that's already dead is is, is being given no, no. a medal. He's still alive. What? Yeah. How old, man? How old, how old, how old was this <laughs> yeah. dude? I don't know how old he is, but it was on a, uh, it was on the Channel 4 hold News. On, hold on, Hill. You going to get some information like this. Y'all see how my man do? <laughs> huh? Y'all see how he do? I'm thinking a war veteran, a Vietnam war veteran. I'm thinking this man is, you know, has passed away, and he's just now getting his just due. He alive? Yeah, he's still alive. You owe our audience, okay? You got your iPad right there. I mean, your, your, your uh, computer wanna, right there. Y'all you owe our audience to, to know how old he is. All right, guys, while he's looking at that, <laughs> we're going to go ahead and uh, get the podcast going, get right to the top of it. Uh, today's uh, podcast is going to be about police brutality. Um, I don't know if y'all been paying attention, but oh my God, since uh, since the George Floyd incident, things kind of they kind of calmed down a little bit, and uh, the fire has lit again. Um, it's it's flared back up. It's it's very hot. It's very very hot. Um, the way the police has been uh, back out here on active duty with uh, killing. Uh, and, and, and I'm gonna tell you this: it's it's, it's not just an incident where it's affecting the black community now. They don't care who they're killing. I think it's just a resurgence 
of them putting their uh putting their foot down and saying, yeah, we we back and we back in power and we're going to show you our power and things of that nature. You find it yet, Hill? Yeah, you know my computer a little slow, being a little oh, slow right well, now. Well, okay. Well, I, I just think it's a situation where uh, the police feel like they got to come back out strong and in brute force, and they're killing a lot of people, y'all. Um, I think the worst case, and I can't even say the worst case, one of the cases that grabbed uh, major headlines was the uh, – the Tyree Nichols death, uh, the young man out in uh, Memphis, Tennessee, um, when the five, actually six uh, police officers uh, brutally beat him. He was on his way home from work, and from what we're finding out, it was supposed to be a routine traffic stop, but I don't think it was a routine traffic stop. All right, Hill, don't worry about it. We'll get, yeah, we'll get yeah, it. I, if, I, if, we, if we don't get it, this podcast We'll make sure he announces the <laughs> the, the age of uh, the 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 retired military veteran yeah. uh, from Vietnam that just got his um his uh honors, and um but, uh so like I was saying about the Tyree Nichols situation, it was a supposed to have been a traffic stop, but due to the nature, we found some of the things with uh people digging and doing up research that mm-hmm. it was probably behind a, a female. Yeah, a, a, a officer was mad that uh, this young man was dealing with his ex, his ex, and he got his buddies involved and they beat Tyree Nichols to death. Right. So that's a case where those officers, all six of them, including uh, five whites and one um, white um, guy, you know, they all under investigation. They all probably going. I think they already been charged with murder. Mm-hmm. So we're gonna see how that case play out. And then we got the case uh, recently of. Um, Hold on, it, it, it's some incidents. Uh, the Black Lives Matter, uh, the Black Lives Matter, um, person, uh, one of the people from the Black Lives Matters, uh, nephew or cousin was killed in California. We oh, got, yeah. yeah, we got that case. Yeah. Uh, then we had a, a situation in Riley where a person, uh, was was tased, and um, I believe he was set afire. They they tased him for so long. Mm-hmm. Then we got the case of uh, Anthony Mitchell. Anthony Mitchell uh, out in Alabama, Jasper, Alabama, where I guess he was, you know, it was a situation going on here. And they placed him in a freezer. Oh, wow. And they must have forgot he was in there, Hill. He froze, he froze to death. To death. That's you crazy. understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, and then I was just talking about this. Uh, Jason Jones died from being tased in in uh I believe North Carolina. Mm-hmm. And listen to this. He was a white, he was a young white guy, 29 years old. So that's, that's why I said it's 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 more, to be honest, it's more black men. Uh I got some statistics right here that uh I I I, I pulled up. Uh police brutality, right? It is an extreme <clears throat> form of police misconduct and is a civil rights violation. Police brutality includes, but is not limited to Asphyxiation, mm-hmm. beatings, shootings, improper takedowns, and unwarranted use of a taser. <clears throat> Excuse me. So we just, uh, I just covered situations where the police tase people. Remember I was telling you they uh, went in the ambulance, the guy was having a seizure. Right. Yep. They went in the ambulance and tased him five, yep. six times. Yeah. Heal, what you think of this, man? Man, it's crazy, man. They they supposed to be out here to protect and serve. They using their power. They using their power as an uh, uh, uh an advantage. They taking advantage of their power as uh as police officers. They think they could go out there and do what they want when they want. Like the they act they act like the law don't apply to them. You know what? I got some cop friends, man, and I'm gonna be honest. <clears throat> I've never heard about them doing no police brutality. Right. It, it's not all of them. And and, and now this is the crazy part. Listen to this. It don't matter what color the cop is. Mm-mm. It don't matter. Police brutality will happen as long as they're in that uniform. Yep. 
It don't matter if they black, they white, they Spanish. You know, they say in L.A. they got the police gangs. They got the the, the uh, white police gangs, mm. and they got the Spanish police police gangs. I haven't heard about no black police gangs in L.A. Nah. You, you understand? Right. But, but yeah, man, they, but police, bro, police brutality go back so far in America. Uh, it, like um, the runaway slaves. They... Uh, Hired, I forgot what they was called. It was called was, slave patrol. Yeah, and they was, um basically went down, to, went out there to hunt down slaves. It was it was the, the the first form of police was um like I was telling you earlier. Um, we go back to slave patrol, and the f- I, I I can't remember but <clears throat> what year it was, but it was in the sixties when the uh, the the three students went down to Mississippi. And it was two whites and one black, and they was lynched. And right. one of the people that was accused of killing the young men was a was a cop. Right. So, far as the the police been established, I mean, not to mention all the civil rights movements that they show on the news when right. Martin Luther King and Jesse Jackson and right. uh, uh um uh. What's the guy? Uh, oh, I'm so mad. He was going across the the Pettus the Pettus Bridge, and uh, they're trying to change the name. Uh, Joe uh, Joe Madison talk about this all the time. Uh, Lewis uh, Marvin Lewis, I believe his name is. Mm-hmm. He was a congressman, and uh, they beat them going over the Pettus Bridge down there. And uh, I believe it's in uh, where's that? Let's let's find it. Fat the Pettus Bridge, but police brutality been going on for a long time. Yeah. And it's not a situation where it just started. What it is right. is it died down. It died down for some time. And uh it's it's back. Yeah, man. And and it's crazy because it's not just uh white police officers doing it anymore. Is it's blacks doing it now too. So uh and and they not it and it's not yeah, it's it's not just black people that get uh things done to them through police brutality so it's it uh it, not to cut you off it's the edmund pettis bridge mm. in alabama selma alabama remember the selma uh right the selma beatings yeah yeah so this thing goes back you had the detroit riots uh-huh. police brutality went in there and killed all them people in the hotel right um man it's this been going on for a long time but we want to talk about Right now, y'all, what's going on in 2023? Why do, why is the police back out here when you had all these reforms mm-hmm. supposed to have been put in place? Supposed to have a George Floyd bill, haven't been, right. haven't been passed yet. Um, Joe Biden, where that's at? You got, uh, you got, uh, the Mississippi laws being changed. Yep. You got these people in Mississippi right now. They rewriting history in Mississippi, y'all. Yeah, I they, told, I, 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 oh, go ahead, Hill. They trying to take it back to the, to the uh, Jim Crow days. Listen, I'm going to read y'all that script. The Republican-led Mississippi State House of Representatives passed a bill on February 7th that would, damn, that's my mom's birthday. I love you, mama. That would. Form a court system of unelected judges and prosecutors to preside over part of the capital city of Jackson and expand the capital police force, a move that is drawing the ire of civil rights groups. Several elected officials, including State Representative Robert L. Johnson III, the Mississippi House Majority Minority Leader, have sounded off against the bill, contending that it would remove the voice of city residents, the majority of whom are black. Now, how do you... What, what, what they trying to do is um, it's a prom- predominantly white community that they want to have their own police system. Right. But you know what's going to happen. That that system is going to spread across the whole state of Mississippi. Right. It's going to be in Jackson. It's going to be all around Mississippi. Now mm-hmm. look at it, how it's playing out in Florida. They passing all these, these, these laws in Florida where it's taking away all your freedom of speech. They just passed uh-huh. some 
anti-blogger bill down in Florida. If you blog, you got to register to get permission to, so, to blog. Yeah, that's crazy. You know what I'm saying? So it's, it's basically they censoring. So what's going to happen is, okay, say you, you don't. This is just for Florida. If you don't register, and like we get on these podcasts, everybody going, because it's, it's blogging right now. It's just writing. It ain't verbally right, saying right. it. But they're going to start arresting people. Oh, it's, it's a $25 fine. That's crazy. For for the for the blog if it's not registered. And then it's $25 every day afterwards. That's so crazy. you're coming after our civil liberties. That is the First Amendment, freedom of speech, mm-hmm. right? So, you know, you got this Ron DeSantos dude that a lot of uh, right-wing Republicans support and love the ideas. Why would you, why would you want to support a man that's tearing down everything that America has built up over these last years? Right. You putting you you putting that's more power for the police right there. That's more power. Yeah. And more power for them to go out there and do what they want when they want. More and power. You, and you know they're gonna target the blacks. Listen, I believe every law that they changing is to target the black people. Exactly. It, it, every law that they 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 changing is to target the black people. Look at it like this, Hill. They killed that young man, Jason Jones. Mm-hmm. Young white guy. They will they will sacrifice a lot of their kids to put us down. Yeah. Okay. It's just a matter of time before one of these politicians come out and be like, "Oh yeah, we should bring slavery back." They already said it, bro. I mean, in so many words. What's the, what's the representative in Tennessee? Is this yeah, Tennessee? The representative in Tennessee. What's the name? You ain't got a uh, name. Uh. What's the name? Paul. Cheryl, Representative Paul Cheryl, want to bring in back. Tennessee, want to bring back hangings, yeah, from a by tree. the trees. Are you serious? That's crazy. That is extreme police brutality. That's that is extreme crazy. slave patrol. Okay, that's all it is. This and, is go ahead, man. And, and not only who who you think they gonna who you want to hang from the tree first of all. Okay, most of your criminals that you persecuting and arresting in Mississippi is black, right? And if you're gonna hang them. Obviously, they're getting the death penalty, bro. Bro, or, or are you just gonna be hanging bro, people just listen, because bro. they want to hang somebody? It sounds is ridiculous. It sounds so, so stupid for this man. He's an idiot for even thinking to say something like that. Right. He's an idiot to even. He should, you know what? I'm not even gonna he say need what. To get out. He need to be. That's why I, I'm not even gonna say it. It's crazy because we go out here, we try to vote for these people. We got to vote for these people to get in, and it's 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 just crazy how you want to. Why do you want to go backwards? You know what, man? I'm gonna tell you this. Some of the people that's in office are so callow. Yeah, they so callow that they don't even realize what they're saying. And maybe right. they do, and they try to play it off with the shallowness of black people. Mm-hmm. They use, you know what I'm saying, they, the shallowness of, of black people. They, 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 because when it don't affect a, a white person, it really don't affect nobody to them. Right. You understand what I'm saying? Can you imagine in 2023 or 2024 or 2025 a black man publicly hanging from a tree? That's crazy. And this is the punishment of death? Right. Are you serious? That's crazy. That's just, that's ridiculous. Let me tell you something, man. And and I'm going to speak it. I might get some flack for this. I might get some flack for this. But I'm going to tell you all this, people. Until these elected officials start feeling the pain of what the everyday working man and woman, father, child, uh, grandparent, auntie, cousin, big sister, big brother, go through, experience from police brutality, and from dealing in death and all the criminal activity that takes place in the street every single day until they experience it, they're going to keep on doing things like right. this, Hill. Yep. They're going to keep on sitting behind a desk making crazy rules to bring back things that was abolished years ago. They're going to try to resurrect them and bring yep. them back to life based on the punishment of black people. This yep. is the reality. Yeah. T.I. would be using the word like expeditiously right now. Let's get him out of office. You understand what I'm, I'm mm-hmm. saying? Let's expedite the matters of what's being played out here in, in the public, man. I swear to God, it's scary. This is the scariest time that I've been alive in my 48 years. It's yeah. scary. 
to me, man, it, I, it, it looks it looks like to me they going to slowly but surely try to bring, bring slavery back. Bro, I'm going to tell you this. I'm going to die. I'm going to be dead, so bro. I'm not, so, but the thing is, how I see it is going to be, is going what is going what's going to probably happen is is going seg is the, the we already segregated north and the south. We already said, but see the thing about this here, we already segregated. It really ain't a north and the south thing no more. Okay, look at it like this. My, the, the the great migration took place back in the the the, the mid the late seventies mid seventies mm-hmm. where everybody from the south started coming to the north. Now right. the migration is reversed. Everybody from that came here, all they 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 kids, even some of the older people migrate migrating back to south. Right. right. Like I told you, I was just in Mississippi, man. It's beautiful down there in uh, Flowood, North Jack, all in North Jackson and all that. It's beautiful up there. It is beautiful. You hear me? Uh, I told you to the point, man, I talked to my wife. Hey, let's go down there and buy some land and build a house. But what I'm saying is, is this. Everybody's going back to the South. Right. So that's why they're changing the laws. Mm-hmm. That's why they're changing the laws. Because uh, it's a fluctuation. What I think the man said the biggest population of black people in America is in the state of Texas. Right. Charleston White said it himself. He said, man, they have changed the laws on you N-words. Mm-hmm. He said, he said they'll change the laws on you niggas down here in these backwood little towns. Yeah. They'll make up a new law. Yeah. So you got to look the, at ju- it. The, to justify what they're going to do. That's right. That's why they, they all these laws. So that's why I said on the last podcast, y'all watch how Mississippi play out because whatever happened in Mississippi going to play out across the South. Right. So hopefully that bill that they trying to um that they trying to pass in Mississippi it don't it don't go through because brother if it go through you got to you, you the south going to be the south going to be a rough place to go. Yeah. The visit in the whole nine. Yeah. The visit in the whole nine. Yep. And, and it's going to be it's going to definitely be rough for black people. Man. All across the south, y'all. So okay guys, um I want y'all to um I want y'all to pay attention to what's going on down there with the laws. Uh fight um, we up here in 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 uh, New York New York State where things is it's more liberal up here. Right. You know they do it. Trust me, it's it's being done. It's just done so subtle that you you, you don't notice it. It's right. it's subtly being done in in different pockets of um and and like I said, it was a a cat skill. It was a cat skill guy, a family of a cat skill man killed by police taser. Question, uh, so it's happening here too. Yeah, it's it's happening here too. It ain't just happening in L.A. It ain't just happening in uh, Alabama, North Carolina, um, the the southern states. It's happening everywhere. everywhere. So y'all get out there. Um, I don't know about what protesting gonna do. Try to get these officials out because yeah. they they the ones that's making these laws and these police chiefs that ain't doing nothing. Get them out of office and put somebody in there that's going to do something about these wicked cops that's going out here, like you said, Hill, making and taking the law into their own hands. You get arrested, let a judge and a jury or let the uh, the district attorney plan on wh- what type of deal or whatever type of punishment is going to come out of it. It shouldn't be done on the side of a road. Right. Okay, it shouldn't be done in the back of an ambulance. Right. It should be done in a, court, a courtroom. Yeah, man. Or definitely a freezer. It, 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 like the only thing we really, the only thing we could do right now is get out there and vote, man. Utilize your vote. Utilize it. Utilize your vote. Utilize yeah. it. Vote, 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 vote. That, that, get out there. Do do your due diligence, man. People done uh, marched and protested and, and, and died. For, died. People done died. Decades, just for you to be able to be vote. So okay, guys. Um. Y'all already know what time it is. If y'all don't stuck around this long in the podcast, I want y'all to hit the like, the subscribe button, and make sure y'all hit that notification button. Y'all know what time it is. It's time to get into these hot topics, man. It's a lot, a lot. It's a lot going on right now. A lot yeah. of you. Yeah. Um, I'm going to start it off uh, by saying congratulations to the brat. It's surprising to me. But but the brat having a baby, man. Yeah, man. The brat having a baby. Congratulations, the brat. Congratulations. You, you know that's why uh, I say, you know, they always pushing this this agenda of transgender in the LGBT community. But 
I'm gonna say this, DeBrat. I'm so proud of you because you chose to use your power as a woman. Because without women, there is no life. Without a woman, there is no life. Right. You need a man and you need a woman to create life. So I, I salute you. I salute you, DeBrat. Matter of fact, we're gonna give her a round, a round of applause. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna give her a round of a round of applause, Hill. I salute any woman or any man that take time out for when they make that decision to tr- transcend themselves into something else. Mm-hmm. To come back and say, hey, yo, I'm a part of what God made me. Right. Let me utilize the tools that he gave me to create another life. So mm-hmm. thank you, DeBrat. Um, Kodak Black, you heard about him? Yeah, he... Uh Checked himself in. Yeah, Kodak went to jail, went to court. Basically, he got pulled over, I guess. He had some, some pills and some fentanyl. stuff. He had some Fetty Wap. fentanyl. He had some Fetty Wap in the car. <laughs> and uh, he just went to, went to court. I guess he gave him a dirty urine or something. And um, yeah. while he was in there, after after the judge, he turned himself in. He going to go to the rehab. I guess his, bre- his, his mouth was hot and his breath was stinking. <laughs> he went up there and got him a couple Jolly Ranchers. Yeah, he uh he at first he tried to say that um his urine got mixed, mixed up, up. <laughs> and they was about to I think they was going to do they a said hair do, sample. yeah do one he nah I'm gonna go yeah, check I'm gonna myself just go in. Check in yeah <laughs> <laughs> I'm going ahead and check yeah, in yeah let me go on ahead lock in for thirty days yeah man you know what I'm saying go on ahead lock in for thirty days and come yeah. on back out do yeah. it all over again let me lock that's in what he gonna 30. do hell yeah I I'd rather go, you know what I'm saying yeah shit send me to rehab right you know what I'm saying what you got over there you got some topics dog. We got uh man, how about talking about man Kanye West? Woo! Boom! <laughs> they want Kanye, they reached uh Adidas reached out to Kanye West because they need help uh selling five hundred and twenty million dollars worth of uh Yeezy. That's a good that's a I you they know what? can't sell them. Man, Yeezy man I, I think he should have been a little more rough around the edges, but I don't know what the deal with entitles, right. how much he got coming out the deal, but it's amazing. It's amazing how they did this hill. Yeah, it, I, it, what happened was they it, what they they got they tried to do they tried to do some cancellation stuff, and they got bit in the butt. Now, devil advocate, I listened to Doctor Boyce Watkins because he talked to Kanye West, right? Uh uh-huh. And he said Kanye, he said Kanye should have choked out. He said because the 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 way Kanye's money was coming in, right? Uh, he said Kanye had the power to give like three, four black colleges every year, provide them with everything that they need uh-huh. to continue to move up and get the supplies. Maybe even create a dominant college like uh, Deion Sanders just went to Colorado. Right. Uh, what was that hill? Colorado. Oh yeah. Okay. Anyway, um. Train of thought done lost, y'all. That was, but either way it go, I I I want to know what the deal consists of. I want to know. I, I want to. I would like to see this contract because me personally, yeah, I would have did him dirty. I believe Hill, Kanye got to get a public apology. Yeah, that, definitely. Oh, like I, I know what I was saying, Doctor Boyce Watkins. Basically, Doctor Boyce Watkins said the the type of money Kanye West had coming in. He should have choked out because mm-hmm. he like I even said this. He could have did more with the money that he was getting mm-hmm. than to lose it. Right. But who knows? Maybe this deal gonna be bigger than the last one. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know, man. Whatever he, I me per, I would me personally, I would have been, I would have been a multi billionaire. I would have had half the company. I would have had. Not yeah. I would have had. So I, I, I hope it came out of this deal with so much. You would have no other choice but to put me on the Forbes list as a billionaire. Oh yeah, I like that. That he need to do that. That they, they would have no other choice he but need, to do it. He need to do that. That need to happen no matter what. He need to have a B put, put back in front of his name Listen, and behind it. I have a couple B's Yay-B. in my account right now. I, my name, my new name would be <laughs> Yaby. <laughs> Yaby, baby. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, man. I just, uh, okay. Let it had to been me. All right, yo. So. <laughs> All right, y'all, moving on with these hot topics. Um, 
Gabrielle Union, y'all, uh, and Dwayne Wade, they just received an award uh, from the NAACP for the presidential, uh, presidential NAACP award. Right. For the black LBGT. Well, they, I think it, it said something, said they was like they was for being an advocate. Advocate. Yeah. Okay, Hill. Let, 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 let's let's um let's touch on this for a minute. There's so many different things that you could be giving people awards for. Why? Why is it that they highlighting the LGBTQ so much in a black community? That's what they they. That's the agenda they pushing. They trying to they trying to put it in the school systems. Oh my God! You see these books, man? Huh? Yeah. They trying to put it in the school system. Boy, I tell you what, I promise you. If my son come home, or your daughter, with a or my daughter come home with a book talking about some anything about, Bruh, it's real. Met, Boy hey. on boy, girl on oh girl, pedophilia, it, it, anything bro. like that. I it, promise you, I'm gonna go find me a lawyer. It's bad. And I'm a school. I'm a sue the school system. It's bad. And if a uh, brainwashing my child, I, I I just don't understand why we giving people NAACP awards for things like this. This 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 don't have nothing to do with civil rights. This don't have nothing to do with promoting anything to me. Positive in the community. Um, this to me is a personal issue. Right. When you want to be LGBTQ, that's a personal issue. Honest to God, it is. I think they need to leave these kids alone. They let the, they need to let boys be boys, girls be girls. And when these kids get a certain age, if that's what they decide to do, go ahead. I'm all right. for it. I support them. But until they get to a, a ripe age of, you know, a teenager, and they say, hey, yo, you know, I, I thought I was confused. You know, I thought that's what I wanted to do, but now I realize this is what I want to do. Right. You, I'm all for it, but no little kids. Yeah, Sh- man. This shouldn't be pushed on our babies, bro. Yeah. So I don't support this award, but Dwayne Wade and Gabrielle Union, I don't. Yeah. And then it's, it's like they, they, I don't know, it's some kind of like language, Some kind, I guess it's a them, they kind of language well, I, they trying them, to they, use. Them, they, he, and, she, me, whatever. And, Bruh. What you identify as. Yo, I seen this one thing where this lady was talking. I don't know who she was talking to, but. She was on a panel? Yeah, she was on yes, the panel. I saw it. And she was like, uh, they were saying something about putting pads in the in a female locker room for uh girl. Something about. The menstrual cycle, uh, cycle, but basically they want a dog gonna put tampat uh, tampons up a boy's butt. Oh he God, wanna, Jesus! Want to think? That come on, bro. Because he I, I identify oh, as come a girl. On. What, what you, like come he on. gonna go through a menstrual oh, cycle. Oh my God, man, get out of here with that, man. And, um, and, I, and, I know I seen somewhere it was a YMCA. The lady was talking about. She said it was a man in there, butt naked. She was crying, dog. Butt naked, genitals out, and everything. And the YMC, I, I believe it was in California. Right. And she said her five-year-old daughter goes in that same locker room. And she said because that man identifies as a woman, he can go in there in front of her five-year-old daughter, strip down butt naked with his gen- with, with his wee-wee out, man. Right. Is you right. serious? That's it's, it's, it's ridiculous. I tell y'all what, bro. <clears throat> go in there with my granddaughter. And pull your wee wee out and see what's gonna happen. Right. Okay. And, and then, see what's gonna happen. And then I think it was uh, uh, what's that girl name? Candace something. Candace Owens. Yeah, I think I think it was her. She was talking to this one dude, and they was talking about uh, uh, pregnancy. Right. And um, the the, I think. The question came up is uh, people having a baby. Okay. And oh, Candace only Owens, women can have babies. And, yeah, that's what she said. Only she women like, can have babies. And she, no, she asked him, she was like, can men have babies? And what did he say? He said, it depends. Yeah, all right. Depends on what? And he said, "Well, I know a transgender man that have that uh, that have a uh, that had no, a don't. baby that no, got pregnant. No, you don't. No, God you ain't don't. do you, that. 
a transgender no, man. God ain't that a trans? It was a, a transgender. Female. It was a transgender woman that wanted to be a man, and that's what they did. And they took a picture. No, l- l- listen here, bro. Only women can have babies in this cyber system that we live in. Okay, in this black hole we call Earth, in this Sodom and Gomorrah place that we in right now. Because I'm waiting to walk outside one day and everything on fire and Jesus walking down the street mm-hmm. with all the disgusting and nasty things that's going on. Can't no man have no babies. Not at all. Okay? We're going to get that out. Can't no man have no babies. Now, since we're still on the subject of Gabrielle Union, did you hear about her? She want to do a, do- a biopic. And she want <laughs> Janet Jackson to play her. First of all. In a biopic. First of all, let me tell you something. Fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of here. I said it. Let me tell you something. Fuck out of here. Janet Jackson playing Gabrielle Union. For her saying that to me is a damn gone In insult. a shot to you. Somebody need to. You see what Mano did to that young YouTuber? Yeah. G checked his ass, dog. Yeah. I seen it when the dude said something. To me. I seen Mano look up like, yo. I think he knew it was coming. Nah, dog. Let me tell you this, homie. No, I, he, I, you think he knew this motherfucker was about to say some slick shit? Yeah, yeah. That's what he knew. Yeah. You see how he yoked that motherfucker? Man. I keep telling these, <laughs> respect the OGs, dog. He said, on a scale of one to ten, how bad do you think I could whoop your ass? Man, like this? And he, like this? He yoked that boy up <laughs> Respect quick. the OGs, man. That's disrespectful, yeah, man. Yeah, man. Respect yeah. the OGs. Just like Gabrielle Union. Disrespecting Janet Jackson. I'm telling. I want to. I want a uh, YouTuber to come up to me and say, on the scale of one to ten, how that, how that. I'm a slap fire. Let's see. Okay. It, and that, whoever I, record and better keep recording. I got, I got a question. <laughs> what if it's that big uh, gorilla eight dude that be dancing with the tight ass? I'm gonna slap his you know, big slap, ass too. You know, you <laughs> see on there boxing with got hand. He got think he got some hands. I'm going to slap him, too. You're going to fire his ass up? Slap flames out. Let's see. All right. Okay, Hill. I, you know what? And, uh, I and believe then, you, dog. And then I'm going to be like, what's the scale? Because I'm going to tell you this. I've seen a little motherfucker. I done knocked a few big motherfuckers out of my days, too. I'm retired, y'all. I don't want no <laughs> trouble. I don't want no trouble. But I'm telling you, I just seen a little dude beat the dog shit out of Bully. Break, broke his ass down. Stomped him and all that. Yeah, I just seen a video where it was this real this tall dude. They was it looked like they was in a school that's, school hallway. Was, oh, that's the one in and dude. He, I I sent you that. Hit, and he hit dude and put him to sleep. He, he a bully hit him, knocked him down. A bully dude got up and he was just he was a bully. drunk. A bully. He was drunk and fell down and went to sleep on the in the corner. Yes, he did. He was sleep. <laughs> he was sleep. So yo. Respect the OGs. That's all I'm going to say. Mano, yeah. I know you cleaned it up and said, Mano said, oh, that was an act. We was acting. Yeah, yeah. Played it off. <laughs> he don't want to he don't wanna go to jail. I <laughs> he understand. Don't, he don't want no, he don't want to go to sued. Yeah, he don't want to get is. sued. He don't want to go to jail. None of that. But I don't think you can fuck about going to, but he ain't trying to get sued. But Mano, you handled it like a G, dog. Right, Respect right. the OGs, man. Um, Creed 3. Oh, I, can't, I can't wait to see that. I, I want to go watch it too. Um, But you know what? It kind of got me mad how they took um, the actor. What's his name? I just had his name. Jonathan uh, Jonathan Wagner is his name. Uh, the, uh, the, uh, the, 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 the dude in uh, Creed 3 that's playing the role with my boy to, uh, Michael B. Jordan. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it it, 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 it makes supposed, me mad that, his, uh, that his childhood uh, friend. Yeah, it, it makes me mad that every time, right, we um we get a, a, a good Jonathan Majors is his name. And this dude, Jonathan Majors, y'all, is his name. This dude is a good actor. Mm-hmm. He played good roles every time. But then they go take him and put him in his ebony shoot. Did you see it? Oh yeah. Huh? It was that him like laying on the floor or something like that. Man, they had him in all kind of weird positions. Yeah. You know, like, yeah. this is a strong, musculent, handsome brother. Why take him in? This a, he, him and uh, Michael B. Jordan was just 
voted sexiest man of the year. Then you take him and do this. Yeah, they do this. Hey, let me put you on a pink jacket and pink pants and a uh, Valentine's heart and lay you across a couch like a a drag queen. Why? And and, 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 this, and this, let me tell y'all something. We, uh, LBGT community, I have nothing but respect for y'all. My daughter is a representation of that. My niece is a representation of that. Uh, King Hill brother. Like, mm-hmm. this ain't nothing against nobody. It's just how they take and personify or magnify the, the gay tendencies when it comes to a strong black male figure. Right. You could be a straight heterosexual. You have no intentions on crossing over to the other side. And they'll take it and blur you like as if you're you're right, you're straddling the front the fence. I don't yeah. I don't like how they do that, man. I want yeah. when my sons, my grandsons to look at TV and they see a strong black man, that's what I want them to see. Right. Projected in pictures, magazines, commercials, whatever. I've never seen <clears throat> Which 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 brings me to this, Hill. Which brings me to this. Why all these rappers and athletes wearing purses? All of us, not all yeah. of us, but why are they wearing purses, man? I, What's up with that? What's going on? Huh? What's going on, King? King Hill. What's going on? Why is all the rappers and, and the athletes, all these dudes with all this money? I mean, money, 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 money. They can't get an expensive wallet, no, man. They, a expensive wallet. They got the Gucci. They got the Louis. You know, come on. Hey, I, I don't, man. It, it, I'm you can have a, you can have a no custom alligator wallet made. A custom joint. Right. Why is they choosing to have a purse that look better than their wife's or their girlfriend's? What's going that's on? Re- that's, that's crazy. I, I, I don't know if you remember <clears throat> when we was kids, you go in your mama closet, you better not come out there. In, in her high heel shoes. Your daddy was getting right on you. Get out right. of them. Right. And your mama better follow up. Yeah. You ever been to the mall with your wife? Yeah. And she's trying on clothes and she'd be like, here, baby, hold my hold my purse. You grab that joint like it's duty on the <laughs> tissue. <laughs> you be like, oh, you know, I'm like, oh, I don't want it. Then you take why that you joint. Can't, why you can't sit it over there yeah. somewhere? You know what I'm saying? Now you got that joint that. holding it like it's a football. You know right. what I'm saying? Like, man, I don't want this joint. Why? When did it? Know, when did man. it become comfortable? When him? I don't know. I don't, I think it all that they, they took. I think it started with the uh the man the bag, man bags, the, the travel bags. Of, yeah, that go across your chest. Right. I don't, I, I got one yeah. of those. Yeah, I do too. Ain't nothing wrong with that. But I, they they in, for some reason I'm talking about wanna, a purse, dog, a handbag. Yeah, a little Gucci. A little uh, Christian Dior. They, they holding it down not to say you might yeah. as well be holding it yeah. like that. <laughs> you might uh, well. I, I ain't going to scream no names. Y'all dudes know who y'all is. But I'm going to tell you who I haven't seen with one. I haven't seen Jay-Z with a purse. Nope. I haven't seen I haven't seen Jeezy with a purse. Nope. I don't I, I don't believe that I've seen T.I. with a purse. Nah. I haven't seen T.I. with a purse. And that's, and that's exactly what they look like. I don't, I don't think I've seen um, Shannon Sharp with a purse. No. I haven't seen Shaq with a purse. And I, I don't think you're going to them. I don't think but then some it, of the dudes that you, I don't think you're going to see with a purse. I, I, with one I, on. All I'm saying is, man, come on, y'all. Y'all, y'all, um, hip hop, athletes, entertainers, period. Y'all are men. Whether y'all look at y'all self as men or bisexual or trisexuals, whatever y'all call yourself doing. Y'all men first, bro. Right. Y'all got a lot of young boys that look up to y'all. Play the role, man. Bring the next young man up. Right. Bring the next young man up. Hip-hop is the biggest genre on the planet. It's the biggest money maker of all. They they tried to say in the 70s that hip-hop wouldn't work, Hill. Yeah. It's the biggest thing on the planet. It's everywhere. It's in everything, every crevice yeah. of the world. Okay? Yep. Yep. They just banned LGBTQ in Africa. Yeah. In America tried to uh, put these restrictions. Africa said, I think it's Uganda. One of, they said, we don't even need your aid. We right. good. We got right. money. We don't need y'all. Right. You understand what I'm saying? Quit letting America, y'all, push this stuff on us. 
We that's good. What, that's what it is, man. We good. That buck breaking started back in the slave days. Let's get it off our backs, man. Please, every man that say he a man, raise a son. Please, y'all. Yep. Raise a son, y'all. Uh, we got somebody in some trouble. Well, a little trouble. Jim Jones. Some, uh, some, I guess one of his ex-mates, Jaja, just came out. She's, she's put some allegations on my boy Jim, so I'm not going to really go into that. Mm. Let's just see how Jim Jones play it and see if he's going to have a paperwork party. See if he's going to be producing some paperwork because she's trying to say Jim told on his boy Mel B. I, I, right. I don't know nothing about that. I, didn't, I, didn't, I haven't heard Jim Jones. I never, you know what I'm saying? People say things every day. But until somebody produce something, I always say if you got something on somebody, put the paperwork out there. Yeah. And, 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 and you know, just like Bootsy and T.I. right now, they was homeboys. They was tight. I like Bootsy and I like T.I. <laughs> I just hate that Bootsy allowed something like that, something that was said. He hasn't seen nothing on paper. Until right. you see it on paper, Bootsy, you can't just go off hearsay. What he did, what Bootsy did was go off of what T.I. said on his podcast. And, and, and I'm going to tell you like this, Hill. About I, his cousin. And I said it I said it before. Ain't no way, ain't no man, if you're that stupid – to go sit in the prison cell for 10, 20 years and your Cody dead, you're stupid. Mm -hmm. You're stupid. Ain't no way in the world you're supposed to go sit it down and your Cody dead. He dead. Right. It's over. Case case dismissed. Ain't nothing to talk about. You ain't no snitch. You ain't no rat. Mm -hmm. It's over, bro. You just got a uh, you, you you just got a pass. That's what you just got. It, it, what I if you want to see some snitching. Go follow uh what's the name case? Who? Uh why YS YSL? Yeah. That's snitching, bro. Go go follow the that young case. thug case. You gonna see That's you it. gonna see what snitching look like. That's snitching. I seen dog. I went to court with my man, uh Nino, aka Jamar Kelly. Okay. I seen one of my homeboys, dog, that I grew up with. Me and him don't talk no more. Behind us. Got on the stand, homie. Testified on my man, and he never even knew him. He don't even know him. Mm. Got on there, the, the, the feds gave him some paperwork or something, and he read from it. He don't even know my homie, dog. That's crazy. He don't know my man, dog. Don't know him. I seen him. I'm like, yo, you don't even know him. He's like, I know. But they came to me and told me if I do this, I, I come home today. They gave him immunity, and they gave his brother immunity. His brother had an eight-year bid, bro. That's crazy. His brother had an eight-year bid. His brother came. They cut, I think, five, uh, five, six years off his brother's sentence, and he came home that day. My my, my man, Jamar Kelly, man, he's doing 50 to life right now because a dude lied on him. That's crazy. On for a body. That's crazy. That's facts. I've seen that with my own eyes. So I don't need nobody to tell me what a rat is, what a snitch is. I know mm -hmm. too many of them. That's why I got out the streets. That's why I don't know parts of them. Because the nigga that's going to bring you to work, the nigga that's going to tie you into the plug, and maybe even the plug, going to be the goddamn police. Yep. That's yep. it, bro. Because once they get caught up, it, it's, a, it's a lot of these dudes in the streets, it, they, they, they play gangsters. Because they not going to go sit in that cell, dog. Bruh, let me tell you something. They going to want out that joint so quick, and they going to do whatever it takes to get out of it. And, and that's how I go. That's the game. What else you got over there, big dog? Uh, um, The dude, Eric Holder. Right, right. Uh, That got, uh, that uh The killed dude that killed Nipsey? Nipsey Hussle got sentenced to uh, 60 years. Motherfucker got 60 years. 60 years. Now, let me ask you this, Hill. I don't know how they do time in in California, or how they finish. But they got the three strike law over there, don't they? They got they the three. Might. That motherfucker, they do. That's where it started at. They got the three strike law in California. I gotta see how many motherfucking felonies this nigga got, because right. I know he had just came home. Yeah. You gave this man sixty to life, and this nigga's in California doing life sentences for stealing goddamn something out the dollar store. That don't make you think Nip was set up, bro. Yeah. And that sentence right there tell you he was set up. Yeah. That's all I'm going to say about it. What else we rolling with out of there? R. Kelly got sentenced to another 20 years. God damn. For a uh, child sex crime. God damn, right. Kelly. We ain't yep. going to never get that battle between him and uh, Usher, is we? He ain't coming home. God damn. He done. 
Damn, Kels. They gonna fry him. I hope they put a studio in there so he can give us some new music. Man, he ain't getting that. God, even damn. though, even though you can't get instruments in jail. Oh shit! I, oh lord, but you ain't going twenty to, more on top of the thirty. I think it's. I think. I think the twenty. They run consecutive. Run consecutive. Oh no, concurrent, concurrent. Con, yeah, concurrent with the thirty. The thirty, but it, it's still. It, I, they got to set up some kind of way. Well, he ain't never coming home. If he die, he got to come back two more times. And God, damn! <laughs> oh Lord Jesus! They don't whitewash your ass, R. Kelly. It ain't blackballing no more. Yeah, he, when they do this type of shit, they whitewashed you. Yeah, he. he yeah. What else? He, what else? What else? He if got? He, when he when he won the first time, he should have he should have kicked them all to the curb. The motherfucker should have cut his wiener off and stayed with his. Uh, and, and, he should have became a goddamn Chris, a holy <laughs> devout Christian and went to singing gospels. That's, That's what, what he, he should have did. did. <laughs> That's what the fuck he should have did. So. So what, what else we got here? I know you got man, some shit. Uh, what you got for me, dog? That's it? That's it. That's, that's it? That's all you down. got? Yeah, man. All right, cool. Shit, I think we have did good for us not being out here in a couple of weeks. Um, yeah. So listen here, y'all. I had the opportunity to watch um, Drink Champs um, between the last couple of nights watching the Drink Champs. They had George Clinton on there. And um, man, let me tell you something. I grew up in them days. Well, this, the 70s. I grew up... In the 70s, listening to Parliament and George Clinton, Lakeside, the Isley Brothers. And, you know, that's, that's my music. Mm. I grew up off that shit. I used to do the popcorn and shit. Cousin used to give me dollars to do the motherfucking. I don't know if y'all remember <laughs> the popcorn. If y'all born in them days, motherfucking popcorn. I used to do all them dances and shit. But anyway, um, Atomic Dog. I mean, dude, the interview, I ain't gonna lie, Nori. Shout out shout out to uh Nori and um I think, it, what's the name? Effin? They did a great job with the interview, dude. I mean, they really did. They they asked some very very intricate questions. Um, they, they it was detailed. Nor you could tell Nori did his homework on this. It was detailed uh, questions, outline questions. George George Clinton gave up so much information. Uh, I think he got a civil rights suit to get against the music industry. They trying to get all their uh, masters back, all their copyright and all their publishing. Right. Um, this is the new thing. This was going on. It's, it's going to take some time. He said he's been doing it for 35 years. Finally, he's getting some lead. Where he got a, a Crump, Ben Crump as the attorney. Uh-huh. So Bill, he said billions of dollars about mm. to come their way. Billions. He may not even be here to see it. His grandkids going to get it because that's who he tour with now, his kids and right. his grandkids. But the De La Soul just got their uh, masters back. Shout out to De La Soul. I forgot dude name. One of my one of my favorite rappers. Man, I can't even do this. I, I can't play myself here. I can't, I, I'm not going to say that and they ain't going to say his name. Um, one of the members of De La Soul d- uh, died. And, oh, yeah. Um, uh, that, uh, that, that really, uh, you know, that, that, that was one of them, um, that was one of them, um, groups, uh, that you just, you, 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 you can't even, you can't even repeat what they did. Uh, let me see, um, the member that passed away. Here, uh, I know they just got all their music back. Um, just weeks following the passing of True Goy, the Dove, True Goy the Dove. Shout out to you, dog, from De La right. Soul. They got, they got all their um, music back. They got they they streaming rights. They got everything. They just dropped the album. They just had a big album release party. They dropped their whole discography. They'll start getting the royalties. They'll start right. getting the publishing. And that's so that's and George Clinton said I think he had a part a part of that. Mm-hmm. So he helping everybody get they they publishing back, and it is it's it's coming to the time where um these big record labels, they, they, really if if an artist if an artist take the time just like me and you we got to sit here and take the time to learn the ins and out of this podcast world. Mm-hmm. We got to sit our ass down and read, mm-hmm. and really learn how to monetize this thing, how to get the most out of it. There are some people you, you heard Nori and Joe Button they done figured it out. They right. laughing and joking, dogging motherfuckers. But I tell y'all this, boys. Y'all only inspire me when y'all do that type of shit. Trust me. Shout out to Joe Buttons. You know, Joe Buttons don't give a fuck. Right. He say whatever he say. He own his shit. Mm-hmm. Shout out to him and um, Nori. But if a, if an artist just took the time to learn the, me- the music industry, learn what a contract is, learn what publishing is, learn how to market, and do all mm-hmm. the things behind the scenes before they actually start putting music out, 
They won't need a label. Yeah. They won't. They won't. They no. will not need a label. Hill, you can get your own business, get your, your copyright, yeah. I mean, get your LLCs, get your trademarks and copyrights, get everything set up the right way. Go in the bank and get your own funding. There are ways to do it. <clears throat> yeah. Keep your credit clean. clean. Cash is gold, trust me. But you need credit to be able to go get the type of money to fuel a true operation. Trust right, me. Right, right. So, all right, we're going to get ready to close this out. But before I do, George Clinton said he freestyled Atomic Dog. He said he went in the booth, dog. And just did it. Because the beat, they put the tape on, and the tape was playing backwards. I always figured, wonder, how they get that, that beat? Mm. You ever heard of, the beat is crazy. I'm like, how did they get it? The tape was playing backwards. And he wow. said he just freestyled the Atomic Dog. Well, no writing. It was all ad lib off the top. And he said they had to go back and add everything to it. But he said that was all freestyle. Wow. So George Clinton, George Clinton, uh, uh, um, rap, he, he part of the rap culture. Right. Uh, James Brown part of the rap culture. You know what I'm saying? Uh, man, he did. You should go check it out. It's dope. It's full of information. Yeah, and again, been, shout out to Drink Chance. I've been meaning to uh, go check that episode. Go out. check it, man. I'm telling you, you know, I be doing my homework. I be be having them things. And I be going. You know, I be listening, going through my going through my emotions. Cause I'm still, y'all see nephew over there. I'm still going through that pain. I'm still developing and trying to get myself to the. That's a lot. Why you know me and my man ain't been in a booth like we do. Cause it's just a lot of emotions going on right now. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm getting back in my groove though, y'all. But um, let me do this. You want to close this out here? Nah, not the dank, man. You know, man, I ain't been asleep yet, dog. Since we got off of work this morning. I told you to get. You. <laughs> I told you to get him a nap. So, yo, y'all, y'all know how I do. Um, I try to leave us with some positive affirmations and give y'all a little something to think about, food for thought. And I want to put this out here. Stephanie Mills, we're going to be talking about her in the next podcast. I watched her on Vlad. She got some good stuff to say, too. We started this podcast off with our condolences to a fallen firefighter and my man Hill was supposed to find out who the veteran was. But at the same token, we have the situation, a very, very dark forecast over our nation right now with police brutality. If you know anybody that's been beaten or have lost a life from police brutality, I need you to get in contact with all your representatives, state and local. And y'all start filing complaints to remove these officers and the captains and the lieutenants and the sergeants and the district attorney that's supporting them. Because there's no reason why here in 2023 we should be afraid to get in our cars, walk down the street, and just be a regular law-abiding citizen. And the police can take us drag us and beat us, tase us, shoot us, and kill us for no reason at all. Y'all know how we do over here at the OG's Perspective. We try to talk about things that affect the everyday person. We ain't no celebrities. We ain't no stars. We definitely want to get to the next level. But we representing the real. This is where the truth matters and respect holds weight. OG's out. Y'all know how we do. Peace. Peace.